Hello everyone, this is Zolt the Bolt back with another Escape from Tarkov video. In this next video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a guide to the interchange map. And we're gonna be breaking this map down all the way to the spawn points. We're gonna be talking about combat effectiveness and flanking. We're gonna talk about loot and hidden stashes as well. And we're gonna touch base on the extraction points to give you guys high survival rate for this map. I'd like to thank for all of you who have subscribed to the channel. We're very close to be hitting 300 subscribers. I appreciate you guys guys a support please if this uh, video is uh, going to be helpful for you guys in any way like the video and comment down below and with that being said let's jump into the next video so as our number one point let's look at where we spawn in as a fresh spawn this is an offline raid we're looking at actually if you look at on the maps this is where we are just right outside the go-kart court on the north uh, west corner of the map just between highway and the main road that goes around the mall somewhere over here in this area all of these blue icons on this example that i'm using as a map this is my favorite map please let me know if you guys have any other maps that you like to use in the comment section but this is my favorite type of map so i'm going to use this as an example all the blue marks around the map are pmc spawns this map is not particularly showing all the spawns around but you can spawn on emercom side you can spawn on may highway there is another spawn right around this area just outside the blue fence area somewhere on the other side of the road here this highway spawn is correct as you see there is another spawn here back closer to the railway somewhere down middle highway area just off the blue fence area where all the construction vehicles are you can be spawning actually just north of the advertisement sign and at power as well in the back of goshen where the fuel tank is on the road so there's plenty of uh, spawns there as a pmc you would be Obviously not 100% of the time would be looking at all the different spawns on the map. It's based off of the number of players and the number of groups. But it is technically possible that you can spawn close to another, even the closest spawn around you. It's not necessarily going to happen every raid, but there is a possibility for that. So the number one priority that you want to do in a PMC run is obviously decide on what your objective is based on your spawn. If you're staying outside or you're going into the mall, you should have that decision prior to going into the raid. Obviously, if you're going to be doing early quest, marking uh, fuel tanks, marking mini bosses is then you are going to be more than likely staying outside if you're marking the fuel tanks you're going to be partially inside the mall but it's not technically not considered to be inside the mall but you would be underground on the basement level of the mall in the parking lot if you'll be doing those quests we can touch base on a couple quests later on the video but obviously when you spawn on the railway here if you're going inside the mall you want to be heading in as fast as possible your best bet is going to be going into idea now there is is a lot of uh, scav spawn chances in here on the ground as you can see just to my right there could be a number of scavs there they can actually spawn down here up here in the kitchen area here right around me you can actually if you run in you see there's a scav going into the office there this is actually a very good high-tech loot spawn here Bye. besides the duffel bag there is a lot of good loot spawns here. You can grab graphics cards, computer spawns. The first quest for uh, Ragman is actually around this area. Spawn right over here for picking up the manifest. The back of these shelves can spawn any electronic spawns as well. You can find graphics cards here too. So lots of high tier loot spawns. Uh, there is a chance on, I believe, these type of these style of uh, cabinets to spawn lion bronze lion i believe i don't think there is any chance of loot spawns in this area but there are a couple extra stuff back here this area yeah this style can spawn those so be on the lookout for that on the bed too uh when you spawn here you want to uh, keep in mind that so it is actually kind of a cheesy method i hope bsg is going to fix this by checking your extractions if the power was pulled the safe room extract actually turns green so that will always tell you in the beginning of the raid you see there's food spawns there too if the power was pulled besides the actual sound of turning on the power when you were inside that crackling noise if you check the extract at the moment i hope they really change this because it's a really cheesy method to do that but it will indicate so if somebody obviously turning on the power they have to go inside the main power plant building back there where the uh, switch is 
inside there and if that's the case they can go they can either camp the area obviously they can run up the road or either up the ramp most of the time people will uh turn that on in order to loot the ultra medical which i'll show you guys later in the video just be aware of people people movements so when it comes to that you're going to be looking at people moving up from power building when you spawn for example we spawned right here by the time someone pulls power if they are heading in for loot they're more than likely going to run up the up the ramps on either way and head through goshen possibly shortcut through going upstairs in the first middle escalator which is going to be up here so if they run through goshen in the backside, they can run through the the lit up room here and head basically cut through ocean and run up the stairs they can go all the way down and use the uh, secret stairs and then upstairs they could be heading up and the uh, ultra medical and this is tech light here so basically they would come up the secret stairs come up from behind and uh, these are the high loot spawns obviously on the first floor you're looking at tech so here we'll showcase all these stores the only really useful key for good loot spawns kiba i would x that out big times because it is really not good this wipe emercom uh, has been a pretty successful area for ledexes and autonomoscopes and defibrillators and other high-tech loot spawns in there too other than that obviously outside of emercom the german store mentis and either pretty lights is not too bad you can find a lot of high tier loot in there mainly jewelry so golden chains golden skull rings bitcoin stuff like that okay so let's talk about going into a very good the especially early vibe if you guys are looking to stack up on some money is to do a lot of people do it so it does involve a bit of risk at the moment or since a lot of people learned about it but it you can give it a try uh to make money is go in the back of goshen here uh this is basically the grocery section of the store where the food spawns are absolutely insane uh, so you can basically fill up your backpack with crazy amount of loot here. Early vibe when everybody's trying to trade for the thermal bag, the holodonic. Uh, this is the best way to uh, get your hot rods, charcoals, your squashes, your herrings, all the required uh, items for that. So I highly recommend doing this. Uh, you want to probably uh, use a light loadout, uh, any weapons that you're comfortable with, shotguns, pistols, probably an SKS, anything that you're comfortable playing with. And you will fill your backpacks here. Uh, croutons, Emilia croutons are also a great way to find them over here. Early vibe. Tall Tishonkas also uh, for the early Jaeger quests. And other good thing about Inner Change is the guaranteed uh, green lunch boxes. The Iskra lunch boxes. MREs. But I like to call the... Uh, oh, actually. I wanted to show you a quest spot here while we're here. This is... The manifest for Goshen offices. So this is where we are. We came through the back of uh, Goshen here. Uh, up the ramp. Back of Goshen. We are right in here. Secret Goshen offices. This is where the manifest spawns. Manifest will spawn on the table right here. Okay, let's move up. The clothing stores for finding the book is going to be right in here. You can actually recall where that area is exactly it's called key to success or oh, that's actually the second bookstore on the first floor uh location it's actually gonna be right there right over here would be spawning okay we'll go back to this one in a bit this store is actually something that you don't want to be uh missing out on also can spawn graphics cards lots of electronic spawns as you guys can see capacitors everywhere i believe i did see graphics card spawns up there too but that's mostly spawning medical loot for the for the most part the duffel bag can spawn literally anything in the game there's a toolbox here keep an eye on i never found anything on this table but it's worth always just keep an eye on it this store is called tts i believe well tts is this whole block basically but that's what the whole thing called this whole block is tts and even the one behind it moving up mentis chemicals quest i can't remember which part it is i'll put it in the description so you guys know uh look over everywhere for uh medical loot spawns it it can literally spawn lead axis autoscopes defibrillators everywhere this is where the chemical container is that you need to pick up right in that little metal container medical bag over here killer can spawn back here i haven't found him here this whole wipe jacket a duffel bag pretty good pretty good stuff here actually okay moving up brutal 
very very important part here Vifat camera has to be placed here or uh right over here you have to place it i think it takes 30 seconds for informed means armed i believe good spawns over here so cat tapes all sorts of uh, building materials hose all alongside these shelves lots of good stuff here but again killer can spawn here all right let's move up uh, back to goshen actually actually let's go upstairs here for a second we can talk about a couple more things here uh, when you want to turn off one of the alarms here you can do that this is going to give you so all alarms will be turned off so all the alarm sounds that goes off around the mall will be turned off by this except the key ball alarm this other one over here this is where we are right now so this is on the second floor if you go upstairs right here on the east side of the back wall between burger and pizza right over here we'll shut off all the alarm except the key ball alarm but again as i said i really highly not recommend looting kiba as it's not worth it not worth the loot if you have a kiba keys if you have both kiba keys you shouldn't be struggling for for loot and and guns okay let's go back the next bookstore here for key to success on the second floor just past pizza if you go past pizza up to the south donut it's right across from pizza here the second book is going to be right in the pile here should be right in the middle basically or just outside of it so if you have the quest active it's gonna be a bit of either right here or right there so in this in this pile this is the first shelf from the uh, arcade games there's only two shelves there so it's this back shelf right next to the double doors there if you look from the double doors it's right here this pile can't miss it bigger over here you look and spawn upstairs here too there's a million spawns like unfortunately won't be able to tell you guys all the spawns for him and on this map couple loot spawns in here too food can spawn in here not everywhere but on some uh, spots then uh papillion there's a couple duffel bags here i think it may have a chance to spawn oh there's not even duffel bag here never mind uh keep an eye on these mannequins on their heads you can spawn helmets i don't think they spawn armor anymore i haven't seen any this wipe uh big loot spawn here tech light second floor south southern uh west west corner here so we just came through here came up the stairs came through right here uh we we're between papillion and the bookstore here and we're back at tech light here in the corner this is your most people will rush this store for the high tech spawns obviously you can spawn anywhere from electric motors wires capacitors circuit boards cpu fans cpus helix graphics cards you name it I believe it can spawn vertexes drills early vibe that's a that's a must for your hideout upgrades power cords like you name it of like any electronics military cables like as you can see everything not really worth uh, looting this area at all obviously you need the power for this good medical spawns even out here you need the power to be turned on for this and you need this key which is the ultra medical key for this i personally don't think it's worth buying it if you got the key and you don't need the money and you want to run it go for it this is our sarah store i never know the name of this store you can spawn a couple fabrics in here i mean on the bottom side and on the table i believe yeah right here a couple fabrics uh they go for good money for most of the uh ragman borders for um high tier armor i don't think this this store can spawn anything i don't even know what the name of this is uh, some russian store it's mainly under construction or whatnot however this other store where we came through from the that's the bookstore and figaro over here this can spawn water filters screws building materials for the most part and then we got urban here kind of the same uh loot spawn except it also can spawn food items too i believe on back on this table juices for the most part back here there's a couple weapon crates if you come up the secret stairs it's worth or if you're going down it's worth looting it but i don't think this one has a guaranteed lunchbox spawn no it does so this is one of them for the iskra ration packs it's a little lunchbox there uh there's a weapon weapon box back there and uh i think that's all actually this one might be also guaranteed uh guaranteed spawn no this is not guaranteed spawn never mind so let's go down here there's a fashion store here i don't think anything spawns back here there might be a duffel bag right there yeah uh makes lots of good noise very important tactic 
and be aware of it besides the wooden noise all stores that have glass on them which most of them do will have broken glass outside of them if you step on that area you will make the glass noise it travels quite far not as far as wood sound but be aware of the stores and the materials that they're made for the for the flooring got a couple lots of lots of uh, scab spawns back there i have to take care of that because i left them on I'll move up and show you guys the last manifest in here i'm gonna get turned up don't get intimidated by them oh maybe maybe we should can't see him i don't know what's going on here anyway manifest right over here what? Okay. Welcome to Tarkov here in, on Interchange. So this can be flooded with infested with player scavs, AI scavs. So be, be aware of that. Uh, let's not waste time here. Manifest. I believe it spawned right here. Either right there or right there. But in this back corner. That's where the manifest spawns. So that's the last manifest. And there's another area that I need to talk to you guys about. Killer can also spawn all over this area. So be aware. I think he can even spawn in here. And then, looking at... Oh, I don't have my keys. Uh, right over here is where the uh, manifest... Or not the manifest. The cargo route document is... Uh, you will need Ollie Logistic Office Key. Which can spawn near the... Let's not old gas station. That would be uh, actually spawning right inside the blue car on customs. Just right by shortcut. As you come out of uh, warehouse uh, 4. Where the power is. And then you have to go inside here. And pick up the manifest. Is on a little cabinet on the left side. On basically probably like... The the second shelf as you look down okay so we i think we talked about a lot of things already holy if you need to kill scabs the best best area you can get a ton of scab kills here Where are my bullets going? Bullets are not working. Okay, what else do we need to talk about? Oh! Another extraction point, sorry. The other alarm down over here so we are right at the bottom side of the store we came through ollie all the way around ollie register on the desk here says what happens is this is where we picked up the manifest we came back around we're back at the secret offices of uh, ollie we call these secret offices for most part credits goes to me the most interchange call out drewski make sure you guys uh check him out if you haven't heard of him great great big content creator I would recommend him. Uh, so what we're we looking at here. This office here. This is where you turn off the alarm for the Kiba store. Lots of uh, loot in here too. Don't skip out on the PCs if you're looking to get loot. And keep an eye on everything that you can sweep up here. This is where you can also go upstairs from the secret. On the secret stairs. And head up to Tech Light and uh, Urban. Great, great flanking routes. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so this will wrap up spawns and the main uh, structure of the map. Uh, I think maybe we can show a little bit more about underground. Uh, talk about maybe the minibus or whatnot. There is a good spawn that is on the highway. If you, if you do spawn on the highway back here, this is your main area where you're going to be uh, heading over. Uh, basically cutting underground and coming through uh, the hole in the wall right here you can use callouts as sections uh, up, obviously it's broken up as a b c and d sections this is still in the uh, in the charlie section here you can come through here there's loot everywhere underground i'm, I'm one bother with showing every single duffel bag on the map so uh, but we'll talk about it maybe more stuff here weapon crate this might also have guaranteed lunchbox let's take a look yes so another one iskra if you're looking for iskra early quest um to head uh, have to be found a wait for eager 
make sure you uh, hit up these lunch boxes. Lots of uh, scavs can spawn underground here too, including Killer. So keep an eye on that. He normally spawns right around the sandbags there. The other mini boss is going to be outside, right at the blue fenced area in here. Uh, I believe right there actually is the mini boss that you need to mark. And there's one more mini boss further up right there. So just past the ramp, the broken ramp, you would have to put the markers on them i think we talked about a lot of quests all right this is something that you don't want to do in a raid the whole idea behind it is if the game doesn't register that you jumped off when you land you might actually take full damage of the fall and die i think it normally works on if you if you're jumping not on the top here but on the sides because that's when you're gonna be landing it basically glitches out. It won't register that you're landing on the rail here. I wouldn't recommend it. Let's talk about some blanking uh, in engagement. So obviously Tarkov, you could be choosing between how you play this game, how you enjoy playing this game in a solo, a duo, a trio, a squad, even as a five man squad, different options have it, it downsides and, and uh, upsides too. So obviously you will have advantages on a team holding down the mall, especially if you have people knowing the map, knowing call outs on the map, you can literally lock this place down completely. If you have range and you know where to look for and how people can move, uh, for example, upstairs versus downstairs, you can lock down the middle of the, the middle of the map with probably four people and uh, being able to watch basically half the map from one position so the way that would work is by playing upstairs obviously the mid middle area is going to be the most uh, dangerous area because there's several spots where you can be flanked from and attacked from and not just talking about scabs but pmcs can be coming up on either of the three escalators in the middle so you definitely need two people to be watching this area if you have this area covered you can actually have people watching the whole hallways from both ends either from all the way from tarkov stars from the main uh, escalator here all the way down and then you can have someone watching from the donut all the way down here now you can have some anchor positions in the middle area you can watch the the crossings anywhere from possibly the back of burger and somewhere in the middle you could be watching from probably the cafeteria so to look at that in game I think this is the only position I really want to show you guys. If you have someone covering your back all the way from Tarkov Stars down there, they can actually fire down all the way to Tech Light. And you can be basically tucked in here in the middle. You can be probably not all the way up here actually. Then you don't have any sort of cover. But you could be behind uh, right here. You can be in cover even right over here. Last thing I like to talk about extractions and um, go through a couple simple uh, steps here based on your spawn points you will always have either railway or emercom as your extraction uh, when you spawn in this lower corner of the map including the fuel uh, fuel tank spawn where i spawned in in this raid you won't have the emercom extraction as you're the closest to it but if you spawn even i believe alongside the highway you will have the emercom extraction anywhere up here you will always have emercom extraction including the power station spawn besides these two main extractions which emercom extract will be camped more than railway as an extraction as a general rule of thumb just a heads up on that power station is a reliable extract as long as the vehicle is there it is not guaranteed and it's based off of your fence repetition or scav karma if you're a neutral uh, scav in the beginning of a wipe you'll have to pay 5,000 rubles per squad members and a maximum of four people can take the vehicle extract keep that in mind if you are going in as a five man and you are all sur surviving the raid by, by the time you're extracting one of you will have to take a different extract hole in the fence is a special extract for people that are doing quests and not really looting much unless you're looting with a high grid number of tactical rig or armored rig you cannot use a, a backpack there it is very close to uh, the fuel the fuel tank here that you need to mark for ragman and it is in the corner over here so if you have backpack on it's gonna tell you that you have to drop your backpack in order to fit through the hole in the fence so basically what it's telling you is that you're extracting right through here there's a couple shortcut even if you're up there you can come down uh, and jump over the broken fence there onto the sea cannon run down you can come through underground from right there 
and even right here this spot back here about right there is where the uh, secret boxes or secret stairs are this part of the underground uh, parking lot and the way you can do that is actually in the back side here just about where the fuel uh the fuel tank is a little bit further down i guess i'll show you guys that uh, particular spot so you if you don't know what i'm talking about you can recognize it easily in a raid now let's talk about the other extraction points here the pmc and players cab co-op extract is on the main highway uh right by the cluster of uh, ck you will need obviously preferably a friendly pmc people will take advantage of others with a void quite often beginning of the vibe so take it on to your judgment on who you're trusting in a raid moving on to the next and uh, last extraction point uh, besides the main extracts is as soon as the power switch is on you'll have the uh, save room extract turning uh, green which means that you actually have an opportunity to take the safe room extract which is underground in c section of the underground parking lot uh, in the back side right here in the corner so that particular extraction point uh, will have to be activated on the second floor in the burger bathroom it's called the 11 sr it this is a, a special key card that can spawn on uh, killer uh, including the 11 sr and the 21 ws key which is a container on the underground that's actually not on the underground side that is on the outside of the map right in the blue fenced area or you need for this in order to swipe this card on top of the c can here is the power to be turned on so if you spawn here somebody spawn at power and they turn on power you have this key you can actually run in loot this area there's a couple high value spawns in there armor can spawn in there weapon modifications for the most part besides that there is a switch in the extraction of the safe room if you turn that switch on the object 14 c can on the north side of this is the back end of the underground parking lot closest to the power plant you can actually go through the whole underground area and take a right hand side and then pass the secret escalators you go all the way down basically and hugging the wall you will see this uh, secan down there on my opinion this wipe i haven't really found it worthwhile looting either 21 ws or the object 14 uh, secans they have very similar loot spawns armor and even fully decked out m4 can spawn in there and uh, high value weapon modifications but i don't think it's worth the time and the effort to loot these unless you're running a team and you know you're you guys are split off and you have an opportunity to loot it i wouldn't recommend doing it but as lastly let's pull that power option on and before we do that i'm gonna show you guys the secret boxes or secret stairs this will take you into you can so you can come from the power end uh, underground you have access from this opening and you also have access from this opening further down south past the fuel fuel tank kind of separates the two area from here there's no option to get out underground unless you go around the blocked off area but this is where you go up and you get closer you can hear the fire you have to make a jump over here in order to go past by and you have to make a jump again so two jumps required at minimal. Then you are at the back of Goshen. So it's a really good choke point here. You can, uh, if you spawn down there and you wanna flank spawns or get behind spawns, you can either go north in the backside here or you can go either south as well. Most people, if they spawn on the outside of the map, they're gonna be pushing into Oli or pushing towards Goshen. Uh, you can set up in this area as well. As a solo player, I wouldn't recommend sticking around too long here and camping, but if you're on a team, it's a really good choke point to set up for fights and ambush people obviously you can push further into the mall and go to the middle and face the people that are coming from highway into the mall most of the time they're going to be coming in from the front end going probably upstairs uh, and going for high value loots or just setting up for also an ambush so very interesting map uh, let me know in the comment section how you guys like this map and what are the uh, struggles of the map for you guys and how i can help you guys out in future videos with either map guides as well as uh, quest explanations going through uh, stuff like the successful video of setup and silent caliber we're gonna have an upcoming uh, video coming for the punisher part 6 as well uh, so let me know what you guys like to see here is a pro tip for you guys this particular tip only works on interchange as far as i know this is about not having to jump through these road rails literally what you do is you can wiggle your mouse left to right as you are running you won't have to jump over you can also use free look simply works as of running through the highway and uh, wiggling your mouse 
and you can actually run through these uh, road rails with no without any problems not having to waste your stamina by running and jumping and uh, running down your stamina bar completely saves you quite a bit of uh, stamina just a pro tip all right so when it comes to stash runs i'd like to use this as an example here on this particular map you will see stashes marked with red x's this is a very good spawn for uh, one of the first uh, stashes as you can see there's one two three four five six stashes just around this area uh, that's not counting the the two closest there it's very heavy on the western side of the map versus the eastern side of the map where it's only one two three four five stashes so if you think about it you could basically spawn down here and you would have railway extract you would loot these stashes along the southern end and then start moving north by the highway and then possibly skip these stashes and just loot these out and you would hit one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 stashes and be out in probably 10 to 15 minutes very very effective for money making uh, i'm not going to show you guys all the stashes but i'll show you a couple of them uh, on this particular area here if you're not aware there's a set of rocks and a tent here as a good indication and a cluster of uh, pine trees in the middle of it is one of the ground cache as a loot pole you can be finding anything you, you can see armor atomoscopes like this it's just crazy loot if you're struggling on other maps to get your hands on loot and just struggling in general I highly recommend giving a shout for or interchange as this is one of the uh, one of the high loot spawns and you don't have to be even going into the um, mall to get good loot so there's a cluster of trees here best way to probably help you where the uh, stash is which is I already lost it is right here so I guess you can aim with this rock if you look at these two trees the fat tree and the skinny tree and broken concrete pile there your best bet it's one of the uh, hidden or buried barrel again uh, this can be spawning literally anything in the game from weapons to consumables to armor face covers there's two clusters of uh, concrete broken concrete and these uh, oil tanks or fuel tanks uh, the second one right behind it between this tall one is another buried barrel cashy the loot pool is uh, incredible most of the time sometimes you find very little loot in them but sometimes you can find just insane loot uh, then you have a cluster of bushes here and the next cluster of bushes here if you look at the t-rex there you know it's not the closest one to it for the graffiti over there but the next one is between the two bushes here another ground cache again armor consumables medical items you can find anything and the last one back here and along the wall here and it this goes to your railway extract right there it's another last cluster of broken uh concrete pile another buried barrel here highly highly recommend that this can be spawning anything uh, in the raid highly highly recommend it so again this was the northern west part of the map here but you could be doing this if you spawn here, you can be going downwards and then extracting. Or you can be doing it the opposite way. If you spawn here, you can also loot these uh, stashes here. I may uh, make a separate video for just stash run on interchange. If you guys are interested for that, please uh, put it down below in the comment section. And let me know what was the best part of the video for you guys. Let me know about what you'd like to see in the future. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on so you can get notified when a new video goes live here. And um, let's uh, touch base on the last point for the interchange map guide. So pay attention to what people come in to do on interchange obviously just like any other map people will come in for pvping people will come in for looting people will come in for questing and you will have a mixture of all these in a raid so you'll have to kind of read your raid based on where you spawn what your objective is and what kind of risk you are willing to take in a raid are you solo are you duo are you playing on a team etc so weigh that in and uh, listen out for shots and make your plans accordingly but this map is definitely one of the most fun maps uh, in Tarkov when it comes to uh, PvP the reason for that is everything is super intense 
inside the mall it's really easy to actually move along without having to show your enemy where you are and surprise people set up ambushes and really take out you could you can take out a full squad even as a solo player on this map if you know what you're doing very very easily another thing you can do this map is definitely not part of the uh bugged maps like shoreline where you can actually shoot out all the all the lights so use that to your advantage if you're in a nighttime raid you have night vision you know use that to your advantage take out the lights as many as you like and use those dark corners of the map where you can actually get it get an advantage on that These big X maps are crazy, actually. X lamps. I don't know if Killa is here. I would say as far as weapon choice goes, full automatic Asa rifles, M4, AK, uh, 45 AKs, 76 AKs, SMGs, very vital, even shotguns. You will obviously see Chad's running all sorts of uh, MDRs, I mean DMRs, RSS, M1A, even bolt action rifles but i think what is suited for the map because of the variety between long hallways and close quarter encounters is uh probably the assault rifles smgs are very strong too obviously some budget ump play would definitely be one of the high meta on this map a lot of people that can't come in for loot will be running uh ump with uh or five AP rounds and uh, they're gonna be dangerous. These lockers have some very good chance of spawning high tier, high tier loot as valuables. And they are kind of spread out on the map. Uh, so right now we're in Ollie, right at the edge of the lockers here. You'll find more lockers back at Goshen, behind the cafeteria here in the back, as well as alongside Ollie over here. And I believe in idea you'll also find more which is going to be up in the corner here just left of the playground as you go past the coat hanger area here all right so i want to show you guys in back of power here just right in front of the blue fence area in the corner behind the bush is another hidden stash here ground cache There's one closer in the corner near the pipelines there, I believe. Actually, they're, they're missing a couple over here too. There's another one behind a rock here, right past the, the power plant area. We talked about guaranteed lunchbox spawns. There's one, one more spot over here for the Jaeger quest. If you guys are struggling getting that lunchbox for Mr. Jaeger. The vehicle extract is not guaranteed, so I can show you guys that one. But this is where the vehicle extracts would spawn. It's not guaranteed on the map. Make sure you take advantage of it if you are running low on energy and hydration levels. And, you know, you have long ways to go. You hear fighting in front of you. Make sure to use that. It also levels up your fence repetition. And a very simple tactic to get out of a, a raid fast and and reliably if uh, you are looting in this area if you spawn here it's a very good advantage to knowing that this that this extract is open or not so make sure you guys take advantage of that really good sniping spot as well this is one of the main reasons why people like to camp this area but uh if you are a solo player i really wouldn't recommend uh, camping this as you will get stuck in in close down uh part of the map so you have a couple routes to really like flank out or push out from here but not exactly the greatest point as long as some uh people have uh, angles on you from up above right on the ramps anywhere you won't really have a way out especially when you're fighting a team so i would recommend fighting from here if you're on a team and um if you're a solo player you know loot and scoot this part of the map was never open unfortunately it's kind of blocked down at all times but you can see you can if it's a clear weather you can see all the way down to like Emercom. my visibility is set to 400 only so i don't see all the way down but this is going to wrap up the this video uh so i want to say say thank you for all of you who checked 
out the channel so far really appreciate the support that i've been uh, lately getting hope to see you guys more in the comment section and getting involved with some conversations and hoping to see you guys in the live streams monday to friday we stream uh nearly every evening or from around 7 p.m mountain standard time onwards hope to catch you guys in the live streams as well and see you guys in the next video yes excellent I haven't had this much fun in ages. Step <laughs> down. One more dad. I got one. The Fucking scab. He's here. He's dead. Hello? The fuck? The other guy. I got him. I got one. I killed him. Jeez.